Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a scoreboard to your Minecraft server. And a lot of people actually been asking of an updated review of a good scoreboard plugin. I actually personally really like this plugin called Simple Score, and it works with placeholder API and has, has a lot of great features such as pro world scoreboards, you can also have player permissions, and it also hooks in with world guard regions as well. So very basic uh, commands for this is just toggling and reloading. So you can just do toggle and that will remove the scoreboard from the player and then they can toggle it back to see it. So I'm going to ahead and disable the world in my case uh, so I can show you guys how to make your own uh, world guard regions for the scoreboard. So I'm going to head and set my uh, positions and make a world guard region. So you do need world edit and world guard for this to work. So we can do RG define, I'm just going to call this hub. Now we need to add the flag for the specific scoreboard. So we can do RG flag, this would be the area that you just made, so my case hub. And then now we need to do a scoreboard, all right? So we'll do scoreboard, and now we need the name of the scoreboard that is in the configurations. Currently, there's just one called example. So if I do example, there we go. Now we are in this specific area, and if I go out, it will go away. If I walk back in the area, there we go. So that's actually a really helpful feature. That's one of the many things I do like about this plugin. That is very seamless. You can just quickly go into the area, a new scoreboard can appear, or you can go into like another area because this could be really helpful for like quest or if you want to do like something along the lines of different kit PvP areas, you know, it's pretty much endless possibilities with that uh, specific instance. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you in game. The rest of the stuff is in the configurations and we'll go ahead and do that right now. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Alright, so starting in our configurations, this is your simple scoreboard config, and I'm going to be using uh, placeholder APIs. You do need this uh, placeholder API plugin installed in order to hook in with this, so make sure you have those installed as well. So in our config, you know, you can see your update time, so 20 ticks equals 1 second, that's pretty much what you want it to be. So here we have multiple scoreboards, so here is example 1. And then there is one called custom time and it shows uh, specific time amounts. And then you can have like, you know, multiple uh, different types of lines that uh, repeat every so often. So for example, this one has a specific time of 200 and this one has a time of 100 ticks. So you can set up multiple ones, which is pretty nice. Then we have a restricted one, which is based basically on permission nodes, uh, which is really nice. And then you have your worlds and you can set multiple worlds in here as well. If you want specific ones to be shown in a certain world, so this one is only being shown in the world, and then here you can use a specific syntax to execute, hey, anything that has the world, and then with a W, and then anything after that, go ahead and show this specific uh, scoreboard, and then you can have multiple ones right here. In my case, I have a, a world named Hub, which will add a little bit later, but we want to make a new scoreboard. So best option is usually to edit the default or go ahead and make a new default yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this example and then we'll make sure you uh, space out on the specific lines to so make sure everything is aligned properly or else you will get an error. And then we need to rename this. So I'm going to call this one hub, all right? So we'll just call it hub. Here we need the title of our server. So I'm just going to put uh, striker craft or something, all right? And then you can change the lines. I'm pretty much going to leave most of this stuff, but we're going to be changing the ranks. So this is going to say a rank, all right? And to get the rank, you need to add the vault placeholder and you need to have vault installed for this to work as well. Here we go. We can show the player's balance, which will be really nice in my case so I want to be showing the rank prefix in my scoreboard for the player so I'm going to copy this right here so then I'm going to be pasting in that specific placeholder and that's going to be showing the rank and then for the health you know you could uh, change this to let's do like balance instead so we can do balance and then we need to show the balance you can use like a specific format uh, if you want to do the commas all that good stuff I'm just going to leave it as the base default you can mess around depending on how you want it to be displayed on your server. So we'll show the balance there. So I'm going to find the statistics. So now we also need to make sure we download this statistics one. So I'm going to paste that command right here. Just so we remember it, we will need to remove that later. 
say you are running like a kit pvp and you want to show the deaths and kills of the player actually let's do kills first because that makes more sense and for the kills we're going to be using this player kill statistic so we're going to paste that sucker in right there and then we're going to be doing the deaths for this one so we'll do deaths and then we'll scroll back up here and we'll get the deaths right there and we'll just paste it in that whole line like so is going to be adding your role that say you had a custom role like in my case i do so i'm going to be doing hub and then i need the specific brackets and then i need to enter my specific scoreboard in my case it is just called hub so yours will be different depending on your server we'll go ahead and place that in and then the final thing we need to copy these two commands and paste them in our minecraft so let me go ahead and bring my minecraft over real quick and we need to paste in the download vault so that looks good and then for the second one we need to download the statistics and we'll go ahead and do that like so and we need to remove that from our config so it doesn't error out so let's go ahead and save that content right now and then we can go back in game we can do sb reload and we should get the new scoreboard here there we go so here is our rank this is uh, hooked up with luck perms, so if I say hi, there's my luck perms uh, prefix, and then that is shown right there. My balance is 1500, which is from Vault, which is great. And then I apparently I, I have eight deaths, which I didn't know about, but and I have zero kills. So there we go. That is your specific instance. And then if we go back into our World Guard region, it does change, so that does override it. And just as simple as that, you have your own custom scoreboard for your Minecraft server. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.